Okay, just a I put a couple of quick videos of just showing the power of compounding. Uh, one was that Futurama example with the YouTube video, and then a video you know, with me explaining the numbers. Uh, here's another one, and and I've always enjoyed this story. Uh, I've heard it. I, I did research on it to to make sure I had good numbers this time around. I've heard different amounts of donations, different amounts of returns, et cetera. But I think I found some pretty good documentation. So I hope this is somewhat accurate. So back in 1791, um, Benjamin Franklin donated a thousand pounds of silver to both Boston and Philadelphia. He lived in Philadelphia, but he was originally from Boston. So those were kind of his two hometowns. Now, a thousand pounds of silver, this is one of the things that I had to figure out. Find out what the silver price was back then. And for full disclosure, the dollar twenty nine an ounce for silver was set by the u s. government in early seventeen ninety two. But I think that's a good number. Um, so if we have silver at a dollar twenty nine an ounce, we've got a thousand pounds, sixteen ounces per pound. That is twenty thousand twenty thousand six hundred and forty dollars worth of silver. Now, that was very generous. Why the heck am I talking about a donation from a couple of hundred years ago? Well, because, come on, there we go. He wanted to be, he said, here's the money. You got to lock it up for 200 years. Boy, did he have confidence in our country um, if, he, if he said 200 years, um, which would take us up to 1991. And <clears throat> Philadelphia, at least, said that they had right around $2 million uh, that they, I believe they spent on a couple of libraries or something like that. I can't remember exactly what they spent it on, but it was supposed to be for the public good. Um, so the catch was it had to be locked up and compounded over 200 years. Ben Franklin uh, wrote about compounded compound interest back in the 1700s. Um, there are people that wrote about compound interest in the 15 and 1600s. Uh, charging interest really didn't become commonplace until the, about the 1700s or so. It was frowned upon um, by a lot of the major religions in the world, et cetera. Uh, but uh, it was starting to uh, it was starting to become a thing. And apparently Ben Franklin read some works that let him know that uh, the best thing he could do is donate. Uh, and I'm not I'm not poo pooing twenty thousand um, dollars, especially back then. Uh, but, uh, you know, knowing that it can do a lot more good if it's locked up for a couple of hundred years. <clears throat> what, what would have happened if our country had ceased to exist? What would have happened? That, it, I'm sure somebody would have found those silver coins somewhere. Oh, well. So what I want to do real quick is I want to show you how we figure out the rate on this one. And so what do we have here? We've got a present value, it was minus 20, I apologize, 2640. Future value is going to be 2 million, and it's not a percent. Two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let me make that a number, or let me make these two current uh, currencies. I apologize. So there, oh, that's 20. How about we add one, two, three? That's too much. How about we do that? All right, 2 million, 20,000 into 2 million, 200 years payment. There's no cash flows. I'm going to start including that every time. So what I want to know is what was the rate of return? And before I give you the number, uh, think about it. Or even try to do it on your own real quick. I'll just sit here for five seconds, which is very difficult for me. All right, well, we use the rate function. And we've got 200 years. We've got no cash flows, zero payments. Uh, we deposited, he deposited $20,640 on behalf of two of our great cities, one greater than the other. And the rate based on this, 2.31%, not much more than inflation, but still, um, very impressive. You know, it's practically just an increase in inflation over time. Um, didn't even try this. Bear with me. Equals that divided by. Uh, uh, let's see what the ounce that comes to. Well, it comes to one hundred and twenty-five dollars an ounce. That's a lot more than. Um, Uh, you know, that, that's a lot more than inflation right there.
So uh, they did a lot. You know, infl- silver's about 20 bucks an ounce right now. So um, if we had, you know, $2 million in silver, $2 million in silver, and we've got a, th- a thousand pounds of silver and there's 16 ounces a pound, that gives us a $1.25. Um, that seems, the number seems high, but I think we will go with it. But here is the magic of compounding right there. Uh, present value, 20,000. You know, if we could live for 200 years, we could all be millionaires. There you go. 